What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video in my barren wasteland of a room. I have another Kingdom Hearts modding video for you guys today. I figured I would do a guide on how to mod Kingdom Hearts 1.5, 2.5, and 2.8. I have seen pretty much no videos explaining how to do this. I just figured out how to do it myself about a week ago, and I figured I might as well be the one to make this. So I'm gonna start this off by saying with 0.2 Fragmentary Passage, that game is on its own, that works the same way Kingdom Hearts 3 does, you just do the squealy line mods folder inside the packs and it works exactly the same way. For the rest of these games, there's two different types of mods. There is one that requires a patch manager and one that requires a program called Lua Frontend. So first we're going to look at the patch manager. Both of these are very easy. So first here we're on Nexus mods, right? This is a mod for Dream Drop Distance. Dream Drop, Birth by Sleep, Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, Chain of Memories, they are all exactly the same with how these works. I'm just using this as my example because I haven't installed this yet, so we're going to do it together. Show you every single step. This is going to mod the Kingdom Key to look like the Kingdom Key D. And when you go to hit manual download, it's going to tell you that you need the patch manager. And of course, that'll be linked down below, and I'll link this mod down below as well. So we're going to download the mod, we're going to extract it the same way that we would extract any Kingdom Hearts 3 mod, and I'll put the link to 7-zip extract in the description as well as usual. And then this here is the GitHub website for getting the patch manager. You're gonna download the EXE. And then once you have the EXE, just open it up, run the program. Pardon me in my stupidity. I don't know how to make this any bigger, but I don't think that'll be a problem because there's only two buttons on this whole thing. It says select patch and apply patch. So first you're gonna do select, right? And what you're gonna do is select the mod that you wanna attach. So I'm gonna select my Kingdom Key D patch. I have it somewhere here on my desktop. There it is. Open. And then you're going to hit apply patch. And what you're going to do at this point is find where you installed your game. So I have mine installed on my, my extra hard drive. And then you're going to find the folder that your game is in. That's all you have to do. So you're going to find your Kingdom Hearts. Oh, geez, I almost did the wrong one. 2.8. So I'm going to select Kingdom Hearts 2.8 right here. You don't have to do any more than that. It'll recognize that it's only attaching to Dream Drop Distance. So for example, also if I were to patch Kingdom Hearts 1, which I already did, you would do the 1.5, 2.5 folder. It would only attach to 1. It wouldn't attach to Chain of Memories. It wouldn't break any other games. The files know which game they're attaching to is the bottom line, what I'm trying to say. So I hit OK, and it says right here, patching cage 3D first. Probably take a couple minutes to patch. Some are quicker than others. There's an HD texture mod pack for pretty much all of the games for 1, 2, Chain of Memories, and Birth by Sleep. That one takes a little while because it's pretty big, but the rest of these are pretty quick. This should be done any second now. There we go. And then you'll get a message that says patch applied. So I'm going to open up my game just to check, make sure it worked properly. I just had the most stressful journey. I didn't remember that I was in the Rinsler fight in my save file, and I could not for the life of me find a save point to get into a world that I could actually see the texture of the Keyblade. So let's try this out, and boom! Just like that, we have Kingdom Key D. Easy. That's all there is to the patch manager mods. I'll probably do a showcase at some point showing off what some of the different mods look like, what you can do with Kingdom Hearts 1, 2, Chain of Memories, Birth by Sleep. All Chain, not Chain of Memories, so all we really have for that so far is uh, HD textures, but the other games. Now let's take a look at Lua front end and what how those mods work. So this here is another mod that I have not tried yet, so we're gonna do this together so I can same thing, show you guys the process. This is a refightable bosses mod for Kingdom Hearts 2. So pretty much the absent silhouettes and Sephiroth, it allows you to refight them. So same as before, we're gonna download this. I'm gonna slap that on my desktop just for a moment. I'm gonna extract that. I think I said 7-zip earlier in the video. I link WinRAR. I'm a fan of WinRAR. And then this here is the Lua front end uh, link on GitHub. So we're gonna download the front end. Same thing, we're gonna extract it. You're gonna sneak on into there, open that folder up, and then you're gonna open up the EXE. So this is what yours is gonna look like when it opens up. It's gonna be just empty. Mine already has two in it because I've been using the randomizer mod. So how you add a mod to Lua to run is you right click, you do open script folder. You're gonna copy the mod, right click copy and just right click paste right into that folder. And then right click in there and refresh and it's there. And if it has this little green check mark next to it, that means it's working. And I'll show you what it looks like with a mod that doesn't work. I purposely downloaded a mod just now that I knew would be broken. I'm gonna copy and paste it right on in there. Refresh the list and it'll have that little red X next to it. 
and that obviously means it's not working. You can double click on it to get details of what the error is. More often than not, you can just go into the comments on Nexus and see if people had a similar issue and if there was a resolution to it. Most of the time that'll work. And then if you want to get rid of it, just right click delete script. So let's hop on into the game and see if this worked. Okay, so I got my game opened up now. As you guys can see, Alexia's absent silhouette is currently not here. I've already done the fight. I need to open up Lua front end now. This is a step that I forgot to mention earlier. So you're gonna open up the EXE. You can do this either before you open up the game or after, it doesn't matter. You're gonna to go to engine and start engine. And obviously you have to be on Kingdom Hearts 2 if you're on Kingdom Hearts 1 or Kingdom Hearts JP. It's not going to be recognized. So now that I'm in the game and Lou is running, according to Nexus, I just need to hold R2 as I go into the sandlot. Oh! Okay, and he's just right there. Cool. So the absent silhouette doesn't pop back up. You, you just automatically go into the fight. Neat. I like it. That's all there is to it. Both of these ways of modding are pretty dang simple. I personally prefer Lua because you're not actually patching the game itself. Because if you patch the game right with the patch manager and one of your mods doesn't work, or if you have multiple mods that you're trying to use and they conflict and the game starts crashing, there's not a way to uninstall them. Whereas with Kingdom Hearts 3, you would just drag and drop mods in and out of the pack folder. With these games, you have to actually uninstall and reinstall the games all together, which is a hassle. Like 1.5, 2.5, it's 60 gigs. I had to uninstall and reinstall them three times before I figured out what I was doing properly. After testing, I should say, figuring out some mods that didn't didn't work with each other, which is another thing worth mentioning. Kingdom Hearts 3, I currently have over 200 mods in my game that all work together seamlessly. Kingdom Hearts Two, I tried putting in less than 10 mods altogether. I had seven or eight and they just kept conflicting. I'm currently running three that are patched in and two through Lua. So not quite as easy as Kingdom Hearts 3, but not all that hard. It's not that bad. And I'm sure over time we'll get better ways to do this. I'm hoping to see more mods go through Lua that we can just run separately and not actually have to attach the game moving forward. But that's the whole thing. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If there's anything you'd like to see me cover, let me know down in the comments. If there's any mods you'd like to see me cover, if there's any questions you guys have, I can help you out. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.